Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a make a meal plan with me. I have pulled out some things from my fridge, my freezer. <laughs> and I don't think I took anything out of my pantry. I think what I'm gonna do today is show you what my emergency pantry is looking like. My emergency, it's not really an emergency pantry. Belle, get out of there. Sorry. Um, it's like an extra pantry overflow. I need to start for referring to it as overflow so I will <laughs> I'll get I'll get used to it um so if you haven't watched one of these make a meal plan with me with what I already have I started it about three weeks ago I think this is the third time I'm doing it um, I'm trying to change the way that I grocery shop of course we're all trying to save money right now um, I have stuff in my house. I want to use it. So I'm looking at what I already have to try to make some meals to put on the meal plan before I actually go to the store and buy things that might sit in the freezer for too long and get a little freezer burnt and I'm not able to use because that's food waste, money waste. I don't want that. Before I start, I want to tell you about Ivy over at at Ivy Sue and You. She is doing this also. We're both doing a like uh, shop our pantry and freezer and fridge before we go shopping to save money. So I'm gonna leave her, uh, I will link her latest video uh, like this down below. She does grocery hauls, she does daily vlogs. She's awesome. So go check her out if you haven't yet. And if you are visiting me from Ivy's channel because she mentioned me in her last grocery haul, I just wanna say hey and thank you so much. Um, yeah, Ivy is awesome. So I'm gonna show you the overflow pantry and then I'm gonna show you what I have on the table and we'll talk about what meals we can start off with. And then tomorrow I'll show you my grocery haul. So let's get into it. Okay, it's kind of dark in here. I thought maybe my uh, flash would <laughs> turn on, but it's not. So this is my linen closet in my bathroom. Um, like I said, overflow, I buy stuff on sale. And when I have too much for my pit kit, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> when I have too much for my pantry and my kitchen, I put it in here and I just kind of rotate it. Some stuff like these, um, they were 49 cents and I bought them just to put in here, I don't know, just in case we didn't have any potatoes, we needed a quick meal, we threw some hamburger in there and we made a quick meal. Not something I used, actually not something I've ever used, but everything else is stuff that I use. Um, so this was full, uh, back before my January, low spent January, and it's got some holes in it. Um, I'm definitely finding like what I use, what I don't use. So as you can see, there's some snack stuff in here, cereal, um, like some baking supplies, my our hash brown, hash brown potatoes that we love, some extra stuff. I've got pasta sauce and cream soups and canned milk and chili. Some fruit. So yeah, pasta, pasta, just stuff. That was full of flour. I used it all. That is rice. It's about half full. This is ramen that I got in like 2021. They didn't have any and I was, I ordered it online and it was the only flavor they had and we don't really care for it. And up there is pancake mix and 25 pounds of flour and then paper towels and toilet paper. So that is stuff that I already have that I can use. Just show you that real quick. Okay, now to the table. Okay, and like I usually try to say, I do have more stuff in my fridge. I have more stuff in my pantry. This is not everything that I have. This is just stuff I pulled out that I thought that I could use up this week or I know that I'll be using this week. Um, yeah, so, all right. Okay, so I kinda sorted it out like dinners, lunch stuff, breakfast stuff. So starting with breakfast, 
I am officially on spring break. I actually, <laughs> I was sick Monday and Tuesday, worked Wednesday, went home early Wednesday because we had a bad snowstorm and was off Thursday because it snowed. Actually, that's what's left of about nine inches. Um, but anyway, I'm off for the next two weeks, which means I get to actually cook for my family which actually means I should buy less because um, I'm able to make more things homemade. So with that, I still have a lot of eggs. There is still a lot of eggs in here. And I think my 18 pack in the fridge is, um, there's still like six in that also. So lots of eggs for breakfast. I can make eggs and potatoes. I still have a five pound bag of potatoes and I still have some um, from the 10 pounds that I bought last week. So eggs and potatoes is really popular for breakfast around here. I can make pancakes, I can make waffles, um, all kinds of things. So that is definitely gonna be a lot of breakfast. I have about, three half gallons of milk so I didn't I don't need any milk I don't need to buy any milk I have two pounds of butter in the freezer so I'm good on that and I also have about half this bag of biscuits so I could cook those up I want to get rid of them because I've been making homemade sourdough biscuits and I mean I bought these I want to use them up so that's an option it's also an option like as a side for dinner or for lunch or something not a lot of options for lunch. Um, I have two children still living at home, two teenagers, and they are on online school, so they stay home all day long. Um, well, they eat all their meals here. <laughs> My 16-year-old son drives and plays baseball and is busy, busy, but um, he does eat here. So I have this bag of tater tots. They could have this with maybe some chicken strips. There's about half a bag in there. That's an option. I still have this roast beef. <sighs> I'm kind of thinking one night when my son has a, um, a game and isn't here for dinner, I could make some like Philly cheesesteak sliders or provolone and roast beef and like French fried onions, something like that. Uh, I still have this whole bag of pot stickers. I'm really the only one that likes them, but I will definitely enjoy those for a lunch. And dinner wise, I have yet to make the beef stew. So I'm definitely making that this week. Um, it's hard for me to make beef stew when I'm at work because I like to um, bread the pieces of stew meat and brown them and then slow cook them. It's just not something I like in the crock pot, so I'm excited about that. I still have green these French sliced green beans, and I love these fried in a little bit of bacon, so uh, I think I might do that tonight. I'm not really sure. I thought out some chicken thighs from, I thought some out last night, but we weren't hungry, so we just kind of like yo-yo for dinner. You're on your own, so... I'm going to make chicken thighs, possibly these green beans. I pulled these out just to show that I have lots of frozen vegetables. I don't need to buy any. I've got two bags of fine green beans, broccoli, I have cauliflower. I've got a couple bags of peas. I think there's peas and carrots, so I am good on that. I do have this package of brats. We've got some fries. Um, generally, we eat two brats a piece. So um, usually I cook two packages. This could be a lunch um, on the weekend or something. We'll just have to see. Maybe I'll get another package. I was thinking tonight with the chicken, we could have some shrimp. I was hoping my um, young adult daughter who has moved out will come over. Um, she usually does on Friday. We could have some chicken and shrimp. I have lots of ground beef. Um, yeah, so I just... This little tiny piece was actually, it was a larger chunk, but I had let it um, thaw for a little while and kind of like pulled pieces off of it and then threw it back in the freezer. So all of these need to be used. I don't know. Um, 
I don't really know. <laughs> Something with ground beef. I don't know. I never made Korean beef. Nobody uh, thought that sounded very good. So one night last week, Clayton made chili. I think that's what we used the ground beef for. And one night we had hamburgers. So I don't know. Hamburgers is always a win in our house. This is chicken thighs. I have two packages um, of this. And then that's what I have defrosted in the freezer or the fridge as well. I do have this Italian sausage and I have a bag of frozen ravioli. I think I'm going to save it because that's a quick and easy weeknight uh, meal when I'm at work. So I'll probably save that. So as of right now, beef stew and chicken, definite dinners that I'm going to put on the meal plan. Uh, yeah, so all right. Okay, so... Today is February 3rd, so this will go through the 10th, and I meal plan Friday to Thursday. So today, on Friday, we're going to have maybe grilled, just depends on what my husband feels like when he gets home. Grilled chicken thighs. I should marinate them in something. Grilled chicken thighs with um, green beans. And I'm kind of thinking like oven roasted potatoes or something. That sounds really good to me. Maybe with some ranch um, seasoning on them. Roasted potatoes. Okay. Now, Sunday, we are going to Las Vegas for an event. So we will be eating out that day. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know. I think we're going to be getting up early on Sunday. I really don't know, honestly. We could have ribs. I have ribs in the freezer. Um, if you're new, we like to barbecue a lot on the weekends. My husband and I kind of share the, um, share cooking. <laughs> we both contribute to the, the cooking in our house. So sometimes he wants to cook and sometimes he doesn't and I cook. That's pretty much how it goes. Like if he's not going to cook, I guess I'll have to cook. But, um, <laughs> other than that, he, my husband is a very good cook and he likes to look up new recipes and make stuff up and he just does a really great job at it. So he has a, a more refined palate than I do, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, he will probably cook something on Saturday. Uh, okay, so Monday, I don't know if we're staying the night Sunday into Monday. Regardless, I still have to make dinner on Monday, but... If we stay the night Sunday, we're all going to be home on Monday. I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to put the beef stew for Tuesday. And I have some French bread that I made last week that uh, is in the freezer that I'll just thaw out for that. I know I should just make more, but uh, I don't think so. Um... That's it. That was the only two ideas that I had, beef stew and ch chicken thighs, which is fine because like I said, I'm, I'm just trying to help fill in the meal plan with stuff that I already have. And it just so happens this week. Those are the only two ideas I have. I am going to just write ground beef on Wednesday. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do have ground beef, so I don't need to buy like a protein for that day. So question mark. I don't know. Okay. All right. So in case you were wondering, I've only had that much coffee today. <laughs> I feel like I'm like bouncing off the walls, but Dunkin' Donuts coffee is strong. I think this is espresso. This is a blueberry vanilla latte with almond milk. And, um, I think they put like two shots of espresso in it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> okay, so I feel really good about that. Now, I said that 
sorry, it's really bright outside with that snow. I said that, um, you know, I should buy less because I'm home and I can make more from scratch. But then again, we're on vacation. Um, so, you know, we always end up buying like extra stuff. So, I don't know, we'll see. You will see tomorrow <laughs> how much I buy. Um, the second week of my spring break, Clayton took off also. Clayton is my husband, if you're new. And I have no idea what holds for us in that week. So it might be a, I might not grocery shop that week if we go somewhere or do something. So this, whatever I, that'll be tomorrow's video. So anyway, hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please chat me with me down in the comments. I love talking to you guys. Um, honestly, it's like one of the things I love most about YouTube. I love hearing from you guys in the comments and like connecting with you and stuff. Um, shout out again to Ivy over at Ivy Sue and You. Please go visit her cha channel. She's awesome. So, all right. I will see you guys tomorrow with my grocery haul. Bye.